Hello and welcome to this week's IRQTC Training Tips Newsletter. I'm Brian Trasco, the Founder and Director of the Institute for Rehabilitative Qigong and Tai Chi. This week's uh, newsletter topic is about uh, chronic neck pain and what we can do in terms of Tai Chi and Qigong to help alleviate, um, reduce, and even eliminate chronic neck pain from your life or the life of your, of your clients. Now, interesting, this week I, uh, a study came across my, my desk in my virtual desk on my, on my computer, uh, comparing uh, chronic neck pain sufferers. And they had two different um, modalities that they used to help these people. One was traditional uh, physical therapy exercises, and the other one was Qigong. And at the end of the study, it turns out that both groups had an improvement in their neck pain symptoms, however, through two different mechanisms. The uh, traditional physical therapy exercise group uh, reported decreased pain primarily because they had better awareness of their postural alignment and they had a better ability to reduce tension in the muscles uh, in the areas that were producing the pain. Upper trapezius, you know, neck muscle, uh, up along the neck, the splenius, those types of muscle, muscle areas. Now in the Qigong group, this group reported decreased pain primarily because they felt better emotionally balanced. They felt calmer. They had better social interactions. They had better relationship interactions. They felt more relaxed and capable at work uh, as well. Now, very interesting because we know that chronic pain has a significant linkage to social, cognitive, behavioral, and emotional factors in our lives. That when those areas are in turmoil, our uh, chronic pain tends to be worse. And when those areas in our life uh, tend to be better, our chronic pain is less. Right? So we know that there's a strong tie between these two areas. So really interesting because Qigong primarily engaging the uh, parasympathetic nervous system, uh, able to create overall relaxation, uh, able to create better overall awareness of our environment and help our, help our social interactions. And of course the physical therapy components, uh, working on body control, posture, muscle relaxation in the local areas and those types of things. Now what if we could Com, uh, you know, combine these two things. What if we combine both uh, traditional physical therapy exercises and Qigong? Well, guess what? That's exactly what we do here at the IRQTC, and especially as a part of our Rehabilitative Tai Chi for Neck and Shoulders Dysfunction Program. So I'm just going to share one of those exercises with you today and kind of show you how it works. Now, typically when people experience chronic neck pain, as physical therapists, what we know is that we tend to see tightness in these muscles right here, what we call the suboccipitals. And we see tightness in these muscles right here, which are called the sternocleidomastoids. Now, we tend to see weakness in the deep neck flexors, what we call longus coli and longus capitis, the muscles that are deep right against the front of the cervical spine. And that will tend to contribute to a posture that looks something like, like that. Okay, and uh, that's a chronic uh, pain avoidance posture as well as a posture that we tend to typically have during the day because we're involved in our computers and driving and those types of things. All right, so now how do we do corrective uh, movements with those things in physical therapy? Well, we would do things like a chin tuck, uh, a, a, an occipital glide along a wall, something to help ourselves come higher up into this posture, open up the chest, stretch the chest muscles and engage the mid to low back muscles, lower trapezius uh, down here below the shoulder blades. So that's typically what we would do with PT exercises. Now what do we do with Qigong? We work on flowing, fluid, mindful movements, deep breathing, allowing the nervous system to relax in general, allowing our awareness to open up, allowing ourselves to witness what's happening in our internal states and become in some way detached from our pain experience so that we recognize that we are not our pain. Okay, we're having a pain experience, but we are not our pain. Now, what if when we combine these things? One of my favorite exercises from our Rehabilitative Tai Chi for Neck and Shoulders program is something we call Turtle Retracts His Head. And this is what it looks like. First, we always come into our alignment. So our feet are connected to the ground, knees are relaxed, our dinosaur tail is settled and the crown of our head is lifted up towards the sky so we feel like we're getting nice and long in our spine. So we've, we're working on some alignment there already, but nice and gentle. Next thing, our body focus. A fluid movement, lifting hands up to about the level of the chin, drawing them towards the chin, gently pushing away, and then gently drifting back down. So here we are with a typical Tai Chi Qigong exercise that's fluid, slow, mindful, 
relaxed. We're using this nice imagery of moving through honey or moving through some warm water. Our breath sequence now, it's inhale and long, slow exhale as we push away and hands drop down. Okay, great. And then once again, it's inhale all the way in and then exhale out and down. Now here's the kicker, gang, our vision focus. Remember, body, breath, and vision is our three points of focus in our IRQTC methods. So the vision focus, you watch your fingertips. Watch your fingertips as they come in towards your chin. And then watch your fingertips as they go back out and away. And then watch your fingertips. Keep them in your inferior peripheral field as your hands drop down. Now let me just show you what happens from the side when you do this. Inhale, coming up. Now when I watch my fingertips, watch what happens to my neck. I'm looking at my fingertips here. And then I push away and back down again. Let me get a little bit closer to you so you can see this maybe a little bit easier. So I'm rising up with my hands. I'm going to watch my fingertips. Notice what happens to my chin. Can you see this tucking and this lifting that happens to my chin and my head? And then I relax a bit as I go here. As I gaze down, I'm still staying long as my hands are dropping down. So inhale, tucking, exhale, relaxing, and floating back down. So this typical tucking and lifting exercise, that's what strengthens the deep neck flexors and stretches out the suboccipital muscles back here that get tight. Also doing that tucking exercise will inhibit the sternocleidomastoids from being so overworked. So this is a typical PT exercise and it's a natural incorporation into turtle retracts his head. Why just do these chin tucks? One, two, three. If we can also do slow breathing, slow fluid movement, that also helps us to have better social interactions, helps us to relax overall, helps us to also become more calm and more well emotionally balanced in our lives. So that's how we combine these two things at the IRQTC. Check out the Neck and Shoulders program if you're interested in more neck and shoulder uh, you know, rehabilitative Qigong Tai Chi exercises that blend both Western and Eastern knowledge, which actually makes it a Tai Chi in and of itself. Thanks so much for joining me again this week for our IRQTC training tip newsletter. I hope you are well, healthy, and feeling alive, moving in the direction that you most want to in your life. Take care. Bye-bye.